Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, your parasocial internet crush of the day. And it is time for episode 37 of my Paradise Killer Let's Play. In which we will soon be disappearing off into the depths of the island again to go talk to several individuals in sequence. We'll start with... Uh, th th that one whose name I have forgotten, apparently, because my stupid brain issues haven't gone away and I still don't remember who people are. Then we'll go talk to them, and then we'll talk to Lydia. And then we'll see what we'll do next. I think it'll be time for Ghost Roundup at that point, and then possibly after that... Oh, that's... Oh. <laughs> That is uh, an anti-aircraft, you know, warning light thing, so that uh, people don't fly planes into tall buildings. Whether or not there are any planes on the island is a mystery to me. Mm. Actually, maybe it's just decorative. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, continuing the trend I started last time, of last time of doing super cuts between all of these people, let's go! Uh. What do you know about the fourth holy seal? It's an open secret that it requires some kind of godliness to get through. An open secret? Word got out a while back. From who? Not sure, it just kind of bubbled up. Someone probably got loose-lipped after a drink. So everyone in the Syndicate would know how to breach it? Not the specifics, but if anyone says they don't know anything about it, they're lying. Trying to cover their asses now you're here. Well, time to uncover some asses. Go get him, Tiger. Interesting. Didn't someone deny any, any knowledge of it? Was that Yuri? Got time for a chat, Crimson? Tell me about your blessing. The 19th Island incident? It was a weird island from the beginning. Strange feeling in the air, like it was a powder keg waiting to go. About two centuries into it, the demonic invasion happened. Someone communicated with the gods? We discovered an Eden cult in the apartments. They'd convinced themselves a passing comet was the god. They were amateurs, but they managed to reach out into space. The demons flooded in. How does this keep happening? Why don't we ever manage to prevent this? Try as you might, you can't stop insurrection in a society. The Syndicate never learn. If you mass abduct a population and enslave them, they're going to act out. That's the secret to Perfect 25. Carmelina and Masahiro came up with psychic retardant material for the buildings. You're never going to stop citizens reaching out to the gods. The islands have to be able to withstand it. So you fought the fight and got blessed. Not just a pretty face, lady. Aikiko and her marshals were pinned down at the temple. I held the line at the council building. Aikiko's never forgiven me. She was convinced the demon general would go for the temple. I believed otherwise. After the battle, the gods blessed me and I got this new head. Story time's over, lady. Be glad I didn't charge you for this. Go save paradise, instead of hanging around in a sewer. I'll be back for another story. May your journey be endless, and may you reach the moon. Well, we again did not learn much. Right, time to go! What do you know about the fourth holy seal? What the fuck is that? One of the Barry- Uninterested. Get with the program. I have no memory. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Let's talk, Henry. Or possibly, let's talk Henry. Is there any joy to be had on the islands? Oh yeah, too much, really. What the fuck do you think? I'm just trying to get a handle on the island that birthed the crime to end all crimes. We do our work and pray. Sometimes people go to the bar, sometimes we go to the beach. Did you know that there's boat rides? Fucking boat rides! Have you been on one? Yeah, a long time ago. My mum took me. We didn't get the best seats. I was a problem kid and she was a single mother. Were you always shunned? She made some friends eventually. There was a Mahjong club in one of the apartments. She got in with them. Didn't a ghost... Didn't a ghost say something about the clicking of Mahjong tiles? Or maybe it was dominoes. What about you? I found kids to hang out with. No friends, though. I just do stuff to make them laugh. Smash windows, set fire to people, whatever. That's when I started being arrested a lot. Hang on, what the fuck am I doing opening up like this? Whatever. You wanna hear something fucking good? I got something. 
Do you have something you want to tell the investigator? Why does she always open probing with that line? I like you, investigator. I think you're onto something. The code to the safe in my apartment is SO394BF984537BS9. 984537BS9. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Thought you had a bad memory. Some things just get engraved on it. Trust me, I wish they didn't. People have minds full of things. If you only have a couple of things rattling around in there, it's torture. The same thing keeps bouncing off the edges of your consciousness and it's like a gunshot each time. Key item obtained. Hell yes. Finally. I got what I wanted now. I never need to talk to him again, which is uh, extremely in character for a uh, criminal investigator, let's be honest. It's not like he gave me any- it's not like I gave him any kind of con concessions or anything in exchange for that. I just talked to him until he told me it. You've got to remember that everything Lady Love dies is fundamentally manipulative because she has a specific goal and she's going to achieve it. And man, I really don't like the ambience here. Also, I forgot to do a cut to Aki Aikiko, but that's fine. Nobody will notice. Grand Marshal Akiko 14. Hold on a second. I've only just noticed this, but her, her kopesh, uh, scabbard, sheath, baldric? I don't know what you'd call that. Belt loop, let's say. Uh, on the edge of her uniform. How... How do you possibly draw that? Do you have to unclip it before you can before you can draw it out? That seems incredibly inconvenient for a, a weapon of war. The, the the curvature of it, it can't possibly fit out through that loop. Anyway, that's not relevant. What do you know about the fourth holy seal? You know, this time I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. I'm extremely sleepy. Sorry? I said what does it matter? Whatever it was, this Labigu got it through it and needs to be executed. And once again, not going to try and pronounce it. Thanks for your help. Hey, wait a second. Why can't Starlight translate that? Starlight translated the, like, primal speech of a god for me. And they're supposed to be infinite-brained infinite, infinite -brained telepaths. So... Why can't, why can't Starlight just translate that for me? Weird. Got a minute, Aikiko? You're going to die. Humor me. Why do you hate me so much? I thought you were the investigation freak. It's not that hard to figure out. Uh, I do want to know more about Henry's execution, but also, what is her problem? What's your problem? Is this a soldier versus civvy thing? Case file completed. You've solved the mystery. Why does it have to be like this? Way of the world. We exist in different planes. We see different things. I work so that you can sleep at night. You trot about without a care in the world. You didn't protect it last night. We're done here. Goodbye, Nenorisito. <laughs> Relationship increased. I suppose it doesn't say, may your night be bright, and may you reach the moon. I suppose it doesn't say what kind of relationship, you know? That could mean, like, antagonism increased. Uh, you can't assume the word relationship means positive relationship. Anyway, let's get off of this island and it's extremely bad vibes. What do you know about the fourth holy seal? I don't know, LD. The holy seals are kept secret. Well, that was simple. Come on, Lydia, give me some dirt on someone. Let's go for a drive, LD. How are things with you and Sam? Same as it ever was. That's a good thing, by the way. We're happy together. Uh, never get bored? It has been millennia. Never bored of him, but it can be tough. The islands are only so big and there's only so much to do. We learn to give each other space and have our own things. It helps that he runs bar and I have my car. He can't go anywhere and I can go everywhere. What about you? Looking to get back into the dating game? It's hard when the dating pool is so small. Do a doom jazz and get some citizen hookups going on. Fresh crop on the next island. Yeah, hey, why don't we... Why don't we have an extremely uh, corrupt, imbalanced power dynamic in a relationship between uh, the people you've literally kidnapped to be slaves and yourselves? Speaking of which, you could always swing by DJ's yacht again. Absolutely not. If I let that man get into my pants, I'll never get him out again. That was a long time ago. This is a fresh start? It just feels weird. Everyone lived a life, but I've been trapped in a moment. A lot to think about. I get you, LD. You'll get there. Solve this thing and start over in a new paradise. This has been fun. I'll drop you at the beach. Sure.
I think... Oh, hello. Well, what I was going to say was, I think I should be able to ask her, like, just as a game mechanic thing, when you hang out in her car, she should drop you off, she should give you the option of dropping off where you want. Previously, she said, can I drop you anywhere? And uh, Lady Love Dies automatically says, just put me back at the beach. Like, it's not like I'm short on blood crystals, so I can pay for fast travel whenever I want, but it's kind of weird, you know, conceptually. LD, I think we have something we should discuss. Do you have something you want to tell the investigator? We're tight, right, LD? I can tell you something, right? Everything is on the record, but I'll use some discretion. Me and Sammy didn't kill the council, but we aren't happy. We want out. The council wouldn't let us leave. What do you mean? Me and Sammy are done with this life. These small islands, immortality, waking the gods. I want to travel the world, the real world. Sammy wants to make whiskey with any ingredient, not just what dead nebula grows. But Montserrat and the council said no. Once you're in the syndicate, you're in the syndicate. I'm telling you because other people know and they'll spread that secret. But killing them wouldn't help us. The next leader wouldn't let us get out either. Still sounds like a motive, Lydia. I mean, the fact that she was willing to tell us doesn't necessarily mean it's... Like, if you wanted someone to trust you, you would tell them... A secret like that but that doesn't mean that they weren't responsible for the murder they might just be telling us this as a distraction you never know where are where are my ghosts recorded i've got several ghosts i still need to make happy and i can't find can't find much of a bit of evidence about them which is irritating like it'd be nice if there was a ghost listing so to speak anyway Oh, it might, be in, it might be here, actually. I need to find out what the third holy seal is. Actually, no, we know what the third holy seal is, don't we? We know there's the, hype, there's the extra dimensional space thingy. There's the obelisks on the beach. There's the guards out front. And then there's the, the god thing. And we also know about the, the de empty blood file, which we, doesn't make any sense. And we aren't allowed to ask Sam about, which is actually a big flaw that really irritates me. There's a lot of really interesting things that I just want to be able to ask someone about. There's no reason why I can't just... why I, There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to just go and ask Sam Daybreak, Hey, why did I find an illegal blood distillation operation going on in your, in your secret tunnel? I also need to find some kind of smashing tool, which is... I have no idea where I'll find that. I need Carmelina's Godflesh as well. But anyone else's Godflesh will do as well. Okay, so the first Holy Seal is is the two guards, they said. The second holy seal is the, the weird extra-dimensional space zone. Oh, but the obelisk is a part of that. So what is the third seal, then? And here are my ghosts. Where do people play dominoes? Are vampires a thing? What happened to K-Hacks? That's pretty much it. Hmm. May your spectre gaze upon a star. And may you reach the moon. Alright, well, very obviously the next place we're going to go is right in there. And then we can go talk to Grace, actually. It's been a while since we talked to her and we definitely have questions. But, ever since I explored this uh, concrete brick of a thing over here, this frankly boring uh, edifice, this insult to brutalism, this uh, oh. sociological equivalent to the Chernobyl uh, encasement system. Ever since that, I have been eager to go open that mysterious safe, which will hopefully uh, lay bare the truth of what happened to uh, poor, sweet, innocent uh, Henry when he was a kid. I also maybe should have another look down here, see if I missed anything in this bunker. Because this bunker seems to be connected to all of this. We know that this bunker is where, um, well, we, we, can, we can assume relatively trustworthily that this bunker is where... I still think there's a secret panel behind that. Why is it rippling? There's no airflow. Um, but yeah, so... Carmelina and Witness were experimenting on demons here. We don't know what they did. It's awfully close to the place where Henry became demon... demons did. Yeah, we saw this already. So there's a lot of stuff here that I kind of... 
have stuff to do, and I don't know. I wonder if I can use this equipment later, actually. What if this has nothing to what if this has nothing to do with any of the plots? And this is here as a gameplay contrivance. Because the devs wanted an excuse where there would be why there would be a bunch of equipment you could use to analyze demon stuff. Maybe I'll need maybe I'll need demon stuff at some point, or I'll obtain demon stuff. Cat. Or even god flesh. Maybe I can analyze god flesh and figure out whether they're the same thing as demons or not. Anyway, let's go get that safe open. If I can find my way up. Sure is grody in here. I kind of like what they're what they've gone for with this, where it's a sort of like infinite cosmos peeping through, but it grows like horrible vines. You know, the ones that didn't make good use of the six second time window. Ha 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 ha. This is a reference to the long lost um, internet video platform Vine, which required videos to be six seconds long and was the birth of a whole generation and genre of uh, internet comedy. Wait, they never even did anything with the corpse? That sucks. Alright, here we go. Finally, we'll get some answers about something. Henry said the code is SO394BF988453737BS9. It unlocked. Proves that it pays to be nice to people sometimes. Let's see what a citizen like Henry could be hiding in a safe. The Grimoire of Majida. That sounds magical. A bit of light reading. This book predates the Great Betrayal. It was written by a scholar of the esoteric Majida. She was famed for learning how to communicate with the gods and hold cosmic communes with them. This should be in the restricted vault of the Syndicate Library. Yuri accessed a restricted area a decade ago. Did he take this? I guess this is the book Henry said he was given. This might prove that his possession was aided. Someone wanted the island to be invaded by demons, but why? Oh great, something else for me to go visit every single one of these people and demand to explain. Although we should start with Yuri, obviously. Curiouser and curiouser. Right, well, uh, you know what, let's go do that. Zoom. You. Explain yourself. Next episode. Because actually, right now, I've got to consider the fact that one, I'm extremely sleepy and tired. Two. My throat hurts quite badly because I am still heavily damaged and uh, struggling to record these, even if I am being a little bit more prolific once again. And three, my pizza's here. So I will catch you later. Join me next time and we'll demand that Yuri explain what happened with this grimoire, although he will probably just tell me to fuck off because that seems to be what happens every time I think I'm about to make a breakthrough in this game. Anyway, that's all from me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.